Hi guys and welcome back to the Detailing Detectives YouTube channel. Today, as you can see, I've got a guest with me. Uh, this is Liam. So Liam, uh, just explain a bit about what you do and why we're here. So I'm from Crisp Automotive. We're basically a group of three friends that decided to start a car community. Um, plenty have been done before us, obviously, but we decided that uh, we wanted to be more involved in the car community rather than just going to shows and uh, we thought we'd try and give our own spin on it and see what we could bring to it and it's been interesting and we've learnt a lot, met a lot of people and uh, I think that's what it's all about really so we're just going from there trying to build up some uh, fans maybe, uh, try different things again, uh, videos, new products, all that sort of stuff, merchandise. Okay um, and when did you start Crisp? Is it a new thing? or? It, we have just elapsed probably our first year, just, just over a year, so um, we learnt a lot last year okay. and we're bringing that forward into this year and hopefully we can have a good one and uh, not make as well the same mistakes we made last year. <laughs> okay, um, and w w what made you start Chris? Was, it, was there a reason or, or did you just like one day decide to do it? Well I've always been passionate about cars and like I say going to shows, being involved in clubs and all that sort of stuff, uh, I just felt like I wanted more out of it. Um, and to do that I thought Crisp would be a good way, sort of a good excuse to trick myself into pushing myself into things that I wouldn't normally do, like awkward things, maybe like this, uh, I don't know, um, making videos, going to speak to people you don't know, just basically yeah, getting out there. Okay and it, is it aimed at one sort of like car scene or is it any cars like, yeah? Basically <coughs> it's any, because we're a group of three, it's anything that we that we find. Something like enjoy? Yeah, yeah. What, it's like we're into drifting and Japanese stuff and I don't know, uh, w one of the members is into Volkswagen and the dub scene and the other members into like Fords and stuff like that so it, we're not really uh, focusing on one thing but it's just like it's whatever, whoever comes out with the content for example when the first batch of t-shirts came round I decided I wanted something Jap and because I was dealing with that particular batch or whatever we, we thought let's do that um, so there's going to be other sort of stuff coming out um, it's just like I don't know it takes time and we're just trying a, a few different things first okay so so you're looking at a, like a wider scope not just like one well, direct I, I don't I don't really discriminate against like other like whatever they like it's not I know some people don't like this sort of car some people okay. don't like that sort of car but for me it's whatever you, it's about the experience when, like I've had some real terrible cars and I, I still own a French car which many people will be like why have you got that piece of crap whatever but it's all about your bond with the car and how you learn when you've got the car and what you do with it and stuff like that so I think that you've got to stay humble no matter what if you've got like a thousand brake horsepower Supra if you're just going to be a bit of a knob to everybody <laughs> there's a, I don't know if you're going to cut that out yeah um, we'll, we'll probably put a star on that uh, if you're just going to be a knob to everybody then you uh there's not really much point in having the car because you're not going to enjoy it as much because you're not involving yourself with people and, and all that sort of if you just think you're better than everybody then so I, I'm guessing um, your idea is sort of like the community side of it like you, you still focus on cars but uh, you want it more of like say a friendly community where just people can get together and everyone like, getting yeah. involved and it's just like going out to meet <laughs> them and, and see what they've done with their car no matter what it is and uh, doing like write-ups of them maybe glamour videos we'll probably go into that more later on yep. uh, in this video but yeah it's just getting out there and getting people together that's the main main point of it you can't really say oh crisp is this it's it's just like the idea of the community is is, is what it is i guess if you had to pigeonhole it okay no that sounds good um so this year uh i, I know you said that you uh you've just like finished your first year uh so what are you like aims for this year and what you plan to do um like to work, work towards those really so yeah. okay uh so we want to go to more shows we were always at shows whether it was with crisp or not last year um but it'd just be to focus on hopefully get a trader stand at a few shows maybe not all of them but uh get a trader stand just so that we can show that we're out there like yeah and so, sort positive. of get your name out there yeah? exactly because okay. i mean the website's there instagram's there whatever but you always get like followers that aren't ever interested or whatever they just follow you and then unfollow you later yeah. or, or whatever so that's not really a looking at that number is not really a, a good indicator so i sort of gave up with that it needs to be like face to face sort of thing and you need to talk to people and do stuff like this and then people understand what it is you're trying to do and then they'll either get behind you or not so yeah. 
And Trader Stan's going to be good for that. Like, I'm not too bothered personally about like selling stuff or making money. It's never been about that. Mm-hmm. I thought if I if I see somebody, if I make a cool design or work with somebody to make a, a cool design for something and put it on a t-shirt and sell it, to me it's more about seeing them, seeing somebody wearing it or seeing someone have a sticker on the car and being like, oh, that's cool that they like that or, or, or whatever. It, it's not about the actual selling of the product, no. it's about other people having it. And, and I, I suppose if, if someone, say you had one of the, uh, like a trade stand, uh, someone bought a t-shirt, um, then, well, all, all their people that that they hang about with, they'll see that T-shirt, and then maybe at the next show, uh, that will engage them to come back and. So that's more about you. more about the the community again. So it's yeah. like that T-shirt doesn't represent a sale; it represents like well, it represents marketing, crisp, yeah. marketing for crisps, other stuff. So although we don't have a lot of content at the minute, because obviously it takes time and planning and whatever else. Um, and also learning new skills like video editing and all that sort of stuff. I've never really, I've, I looked into it a couple of times uh, years and years ago, like just doing little videos. But then once those videos have been done, you don't sort of look at it again. Whereas now I've been consistently looking into different techniques and all that sort of stuff. So hopefully we're getting better and better every video and uh, we can come out with some sick visual show. Yeah, well, I, I, I think the more videos you do, I, I, I've certainly noticed this. Uh, so the more videos you film and edit um, the sort of better content you get so if you look at one of our first videos which yes. we probably put on l- early last year um, compared to one of our videos that we put on last week uh, then yeah there's a massive difference so even just well it's just experience yeah. uh, and time it's um, the same it's the same thing like I've got yeah. Chris <clears> videos <throat> that I've edited and not released and then look back at them and I've been like oh well when I was making I thought that's really cool and then now it's just like oh. you could have done it differently yeah, yeah. Um, but well, it's the same with anything, isn't it? It's yep. always going to learn over time. But um, yeah, I wanted to go to more shows uh, just to get the name out there um, again and get show f- footage. So that's more practice, more practice. Yep. Um, and then focus on products, like improving the products we have because we sort of jumped into T-shirts straight away because we thought, oh, well, it'd be cool if we had like a T-shirt to, and people thought, oh, that design's sick or whatever and, and then they'd see what we're doing. But... Um, we didn't really think all our options through with it. So like, for example, we, we had some big, um, there were big full square front. Um, I have some down here actually, I'll show uh, a little bit later on, but they they were not screen printed, they were actual uh, vinyl. Okay. Um, and with a big print like that on the front, obviously it like creases up and you can feel it on you on, and, and I didn't really like it. So we did like the first batch um, and then I sort of just thought, well, they're not that great. So I'm not really too bothered. Um, I should probably shouldn't say that because people have bought them, <laughs> but like I'm looking to improve basically. I mean, yeah, but you, I, I'm I, critical of it. That's all I mean. So I was just like, I wasn't happy, hundred percent happy. Yeah. So I'll, if I was doing a full front uh, front design like that, I'd want it screen printed so that it was like with the fabric and you could it'd breathe and everything. You don't want like a big solid chunk of vinyl on you. But I, I suppose you're only just starting out, so you've got to not make these mistakes. But um, like you, you wouldn't you, know that. Off yeah, that. yeah, yeah. You you don't know. You you've got to go find out. Um, like yeah, you've got to get this batch done this way. Um, if it doesn't turn out, then the well, next obviously batch, that's the yeah. that, the only reason I did it like that is because <laughs> unless you want screen printing's expensive because you obviously have to get everything set up yep. for a design. So if you send a company, if the because obviously I'm not gonna have a screen printer like here, straight away. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and so if I was to send it to a company, they have to set it up and they normally charge a setup fee per design, and then they want you to have a minimum order of yep. that design. So at the time, obviously, this I've got a a job and my other, my life's going on at the same time, uh, and so are the other two guys who were in with me. So we didn't want to invest like a massive amount of time right at the start and be like, well, we've got fucking thousands of t-shirts, yep. uh, and we don't even know if we're ever gonna be like selling them or no, no. whatever. We didn't yeah. know what we were doing. So so yeah, we we did that so we could get smaller batches and. Obviously, we've figured out the designs or what we liked of the designs, and we can carry that forward into whatever else we do. So, so we're also focusing on our stickers more. We're always trying to work on like new slap designs that we think are cool or whatever. some of them are stupid, but I feel like that's part and parcel of it. Some of yeah, them are so, stupid. So sometimes, if they are stupid, um, and, and people have them on the cars or, or, or wherever they stick them, if anyone um, gets a laugh out of it, I'm happy. Like, yeah, and the sometimes if things are stupid, you remember it. Uh, where if it's boring you probably won't I so. suppose yeah but 
Not uh, that you want all your all your stickers or all your like t-shirts to be stupid and weird, uh, but yeah. <laughs> if some, you... some people like stupid and yeah. weird. I don't know. So I don't. It, it's catering to. I I always because I I'm into cars and I'm into that sort of scene. It's one of those ones where I'm catering to myself, but it's also letting out how weird I am. Because it's yeah. like, well, if he's if he's looking at this sticker and like he, he's made that and he thinks that's cool, then like. Yeah. He's, he's a weird dude, <laughs> but I don't think anything's that weird at the moment. There's no, just, well, but the but, the guy that was reading off your uh, SMX when we was out today, <laughs> I, I'm sure he didn't think any of those are weird. So I'm pretty sure he would have. <laughs> but anyway, we're, yeah, we're always looking at those, and we're looking to focus more on vinyl as well, um, because there's a skill in that in itself, like uh, multi-layer vinyl and stuff like that. You can get a lot of cool stickers out of that. Rather than just at the moment, we just have like standard cutouts, crisp the logo or whatever. Okay. But we're looking. You could obviously make slaps with vinyl, like cut out multiple layers, lay them on top of each other. Um, so we're looking at that as well. That's pretty cool. Sun strips and stuff, um, and just improving everything really. Like the website, I've noticed some things that we could, well, a lot of things we could improve with that. And uh, it all comes with over time. Obviously, like when we first opened it, it had nothing on it. When you start loading content to it. Yeah, if you're they, using, a, if you're using a CMS, it's just like, oh, it's getting slow now, or they try and charge you for extra bandwidth or whatever. Yeah. It's ridiculous, but it's one of those ones where, because I've got a day job as well, I didn't want to have to develop a, a website from scratch and, yep. and mess about with all that. So that worked at the time, and I've got an app on my phone and all that sort of well, we, We've all got an app. You can see orders come through, fulfill them, whatever, and it's just convenient more than anything. So for now, that works. Um, so, yeah. But there are a lot of things we could still improve there, so we'll be looking at that all the time, and like making up banners and stuff for the trade stands at shows, and uh, yeah, we're looking hopefully as well, not only car shows to go to some drift events uh, next year. Quite cool to to film and yeah, it's a weird one though because when you go like I went to one uh, at the end of last year, and because you're focused, like you're that excited on driving, it's hard to like film and like take. So you'd either have to go there. (laughs) as a spectator yep. just to do that uh, which I think would be alright because the car that we went in is a little bit mm, at the moment so <laughs> that needs some work so we could probably go to some of the earlier ones I mean I think I'm going to Spring Matsuri uh, as a spectator so okay. that would be pretty cool to video that yeah. little camping thing in the SMX well. <laughs> get drunk and watch some drifting that sounds pretty decent to me so we'll get some video footage of that um, and yeah just Learning from my mistakes last year and then going forward, basically, in a long, push. long answer to your question yeah. of aims for the year. <laughs> That's fine. So you, you mentioned some t-shirts and some stickers. Um, I think you've got some. Uh, so just show us a few products uh, and then... Yeah. Well, I'll show you those after because they're like at the bottom. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> the newest thing we're like looking at, probably seen on Instagram if you actually follow us or whatever, they're just like mirror hangers. Uh, and they're laser cut wood um, with tassels and whatever. We've got like a couple of different designs and uh, a couple of different tassels and whatnot. So there's like a bigger one there. Okay. Um, I don't know if they're you can cool. fully see, but there that's an SMX one. But there's a couple of different ones, and obviously we can make them. And if people want to, well, if they say, oh, we want this on it or something, we can look at doing that. Obviously, it's we'd want like a minimum order or, or something if you yeah. if you've got a car group basically if you if you like got a car group and you're saying oh this is a community we've got can you do our logo on it or something like that we'll yeah. do that okay. if you think you can sell like a, a small batch then we'll do that Go for it. okay um, no. No, they, they, but then we've got good. some just standard vinyl stickers okay oh. and then a few slaps different uh, designs of slap and then some t-shirts there's quite a few designs of these I'm guessing yeah. we were looking at we're looking at, like I said before we're, we're looking at expanding the t-shirt thing because we um, we can improve a lot there I think and yeah. um, come out with some cool stuff that I think people might like so yeah then that will get uh, get us a bit more out there yeah if and people think the that the designs are good then. Okay, and where can you buy these off? Uh, your your website? Your uh Chrisportomotive dot com or okay. code UK, it doesn't matter. How, so yeah. Cool. No, that's good. Uh and well I'm guessing yeah, it's pretty easy to place a payment and straight yeah. to your door. Um yeah, we, well it all goes through PayPal, so it's all secured through PayPal. I didn't want because it's obviously a new thing, I didn't want to have 
So obviously you can put card details into yeah. the website, but it's a little bit sketchy like that. So we're integrated with PayPal so that you can use a PayPal account, or even if you don't have PayPal, you can, you can use, still use card. PayPal yeah. with your card, uh, and you don't have to sign up to PayPal. You can just use them to process the payment. So it's a win-win really there. Yeah. No, I, I, I think that's the best way to do it. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> what are you doing then? Okay, so they're the products that you're selling at the minute. Um, have you got any products like coming in the future or any products that you're planning on doing any new products? Well, there's a lot of stuff that I'd like to be able to do, but okay. it's um, like I was saying about the t-shirts and having to buy a lot of them at once and that sort of stuff. Uh, it's hindered us from that a little bit, but uh, we've got like a couple of different versions of like key rings hopefully coming out, um, okay. like leather, uh, and then there's like a rubbery kind of plastic rubber. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> um, like rubber, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like rubber, but not rubber. No, okay. I think they're, they're rubber. They're like cut out and just the logo. I guess we can do a couple of designs with those. Um, and then like mugs with various logos on, like either just the crisp logo or the ones that we put on the t-shirts or even slaps, I guess. Like if you could, you could change the design up a little bit and use them on cups if people liked them. Or yeah. It's just basically trying to expand the the reach, really, because... Not everyone wants to buy stickers, silly stickers, and put them on their cars. Maybe someone does like the design, though, and they might want it on a cup or something like that. I don't yeah. know. So it's that sort of thing. Uh, we're also uh, looking at, obviously, hats and stuff like that. Beanie hats, um, maybe snapbacks, but I'm not too sure on that. Um, lanyards are a big one as well, but I didn't want to get... Um, I would like have done that ages ones, ago. Yeah. I, yeah. Like, I didn't want to get the ones that... You know, the, the sort of ribbed ones yeah, yeah. Uh, that are just, like, vinyl laid over the top? I really don't like them. No offence to anyone that likes them or they, makes they, them, but I, they they don't seem to last that long either. They, they don't, don't last long. And I don't think they look good. No. Like, um, I think I like the ones like um, Zilla Life and um, Deadly and stuff have, where they're just like where it's full, all that printed on you, like full but, fabric. Yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> they look a lot better. So that's going to take longer, and I imagine we need to buy more of them. So um, yeah, that's why we haven't got those yet, but. I would like to get some of those sorted out, um, but yeah, that's about it. Um, it's mainly I want to focus on content to start with because it's no good me saying, "Oh, it's not all about selling stuff," and then like just that's bringing you, yes, bringing right. out loads of products and being like, "Please buy these." Like, no, I want I want content. Like, I want to get good at editing and I want to bring content out that people like to watch or look at or whatever. Okay, uh, I know uh, we were filming one pro uh, w one video uh, in a few weeks, but apart from that, have you got any other videos that you want to make, or have you got any others that, like y you've got the idea of, but you need someone to like bring their car or, or whatever? Uh, um, well, I'd like to do, <coughs> probably what I'm going to do is, we've got that video together, I'd like um, a glamour video. Uh, yep. There's a couple of people that uh, I've got lined up to do different cars okay um but in the meantime because they're spread out a little bit uh, until sort of the weather gets nicer yeah. uh, like shows sort of start and then everyone starts getting the cars back out and that sort of stuff yeah. um just sort of I'm practice just, it's going to be practice so uh <laughs> he's on his way now actually one of my friends just bought a really clean just imported uh well i say just imported it's taken a while to get the paperwork and everything through it's been sat <laughs> about a year <laughs> well yeah coming up to a year um where it's just been sat. I don't. I'm not going to name any names of the company he used, but they didn't seem to know what they were doing. Um, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, he's got a 180 SX um, S13. So he's coming to drop that off because uh, he wants to keep it here. So okay, we'll, uh, we'll, good, pro uh, we'll probably do yeah. a. We'll have a little sneak peek of that because that's pretty clean. It's just standard at the moment, <clears> but um, <throat> I think he's got big plans for it. I don't know if he's going to drift it. That'd be pretty his, cool to see on. Depends on how big his uh, testicles are. <laughs> but um, it's really clean, so we'll have a look at that. Um, so yeah, I'll just probably use cars like that to to practice on because they're local. Um, yeah, to us. <coughs> we can just uh, I don't know whenever we want sort of video or whatever. And yeah. also, I wouldn't mind doing something. I know today we've been out um, just trying to look at locations that maybe we can use around here for that sort of stuff, like uh, drone shots and that sort of thing. So the video footage that we got for that we went out in the SMX so I'll probably try and make something with that yeah. that, that we can put up because it might be cool it might not I don't know we'll see hopefully ho hopefully uh, the the drone footage is is not as bad as uh, the crash that I had but yeah it'll be fine <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> More practice, mate. Yeah, that's what I need. Um, okay, so um, with Liam talking about videos, uh, so that's one of the main things that um, we, the detailing detectives, and Crisp are going to work together on uh, over the next year, or, well, in the future, really. Um, so just going out, uh, trying to shoot videos together, um, show content, and yeah, just helping each other out. Uh, so we've got some uh, like how-to videos uh, to do on all the products that we sell. Um, so Liam's gonna hopefully help with those, um, and then in return we'll help with the uh, with, with the glamour videos and the show coverage. And it sort of works out well because obviously we're both relatively new or whatever, and they're aimed a little bit differently, aren't they? Because obviously cleaning products and detail and all that sort of stuff. I'm into that obviously but um it's like the shows and stuff maybe necessarily you wouldn't go to no. shows and get your name out there or yeah. whatever so and i i suppose it, it'll work both ways uh so uh you helping us um say w one of our customers might notice you and come to you guys uh where if we're at a show um with you again uh one of like say another person might notice us uh, so yeah it, it gets our name out uh, well it's that good that the cool thing if it like we <coughs> said with uh, like the reps the crisp reps yep. if we we're gonna go down there and do a video of their cars you could detail it beforehand yeah, yeah. so yeah, it's so, ready for the video <coughs> so so that's uh, another thing so in these glamour videos uh, we we will provide sort of like our cleaning services so the car is clean um, because we're mobile we can clean the car anywhere so even if we're in the middle of Nowhere, uh, no electric, no water. Uh, we can take the van, we can clean it. So yeah, it's nice and clean for those shots, which will be good. Yeah. So yeah, well, that's the whole that's the whole point of it as well to uh, to sort of merging the two things, not merging them, but like having them cross each other out, crossover. Yeah. Yep. It's it's just I get some of your community, <laughs> maybe you get some of my community, and build they build up together, uh, and and. That's the whole reason that I wanted to do it in the first place, to reach more people yeah. and whatever. And oh, that sounds good. Like-minded people, they might enjoy some of the stuff that we do, so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Um, so, yeah, the, that's pretty much all we've, we, we need to talk about and all we've got to talk about, really. Um, so, yeah, this is Liam uh, from Crisp, again. Uh, I'll put all the links below for his stuff. Uh, so that's the website, Instagram, Facebook. Have you got Twitter? No, I don't. No? Believe, I don't believe in Twitter. No, yeah, I, I'm one of those guys as well. Um, so yeah, I, I'll put their links below. Uh, if you want any like products off their website, go check them out. Go buy them. Um, and yeah, look, look forward to our video that we're making in the near future. It should be exciting. <laughs>